In today's video, I'm going to show you various ETFs that I personally believe in for the next five to 10 years that can potentially provide you with enough returns to go from $10,000 to $1 million with additional contributions each month. If you'd love to build your wealth through stock market investing, then you're going to want to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you appreciate what I share in the video today. Before I show you the different options, we need to take a look at how we can actually become a millionaire, what kind of returns we need, what kind of starting amount do we need, and how much do we need to contribute each month to go ahead and go from broke to a million. So let's say we're starting out with $10,000 to invest. We're going to type in 10,000 as starting amount. I'm just using this investment calculator. You can play with around this, this yourself. After 10 years, if we're at a 36% rate of return contributing 1,000 per month, we will get to oh, just over $1 million. Now, if we start with $0, we're going to need a greater rate of return to achieve the 1 million. So if we have $0, we're going to need 42% a year for 10 years. This sounds absolutely crazy and we would need one incredible bull run to achieve this, but I will show you some examples of funds and ETFs that have achieved this kind of rate of return over the last 10 years or somewhat close to it. We can't just look back and say, oh, if the last 10 years were averaging 40% a year, then the next 10 years, this fund will average 40% a year. No, no, it doesn't work like that because the markets can change or the world changes. You know, luckily, thank God, when coronavirus hit, we had the Fed to pump up the stock market and put money in. We had the government sending out stimulus checks to keep everyone afloat. So we had a lot of funding to make sure there wasn't a collapse. That's why we just saw a very short, brief dip in the market or crash, flash crash, you could call it, and a very quick V-shaped recovery. Now, the first fund we're going to take a look at is TECL. This is a triple leveraged bullish technology ETF. Top 10 holdings are Apple, Microsoft, Government Cash Management, Dreyfus, Visa, NVIDIA, MasterCard, PayPal, Adobe, Salesforce, and Intel. And if you love these companies for the next 10 years, this could potentially be a leveraged ETF for you to go for. Now the yield is 0.05% paid quarterly. Yield is a dividend and the management fees are 1.09% yearly. The average annualized returns in the past 10 years are 43.6% per year in the last 10 years. So this would match your 42% a year. However, this is the last 10 years. We can't say for sure that the next 10 years these 10 companies and more will have that same average analyzed rate of return. One thing to keep in mind is there are some rules with these triple leverage ETFs and it's way more volatile. If you take a look at the description, it says the technology bull 3X ETF seeks daily investment results before fees and expenses of 300% of the performance of the technology select sector index. So this means that it will go three times higher or three times lower, three times more volatile. Put your own money in at your own risk. I personally have traded around this and have had great success trading. Again, it is for people who have a very strong stomach for risk and volatility because it's much more volatile and there are sharp drops but also sharp increases. So again, this is all for entertainment purposes only. Do your own research into this, but this is option number one for the ETF to potentially make you go from broke to millionaire in 10 years or less. Option number two is ARKK. This is my favorite from ARK. It is very diversified and it is not triple leveraged, so less risk. However, ARK's investments are in more startup companies, who they're not completely startup, but they're in the startup phases where they're highly innovative companies looking to disrupt their industry. So we're looking at companies that are gonna be changing the world in the next 10 years, especially from my opinion. Management fees, we see 0.75% per year, no dividend, and we see in the last 10 years, it says NA because it hasn't been around for 10 years, but the last five years, average analyzed returns have been 41.5%. If you go take a look at the uh, maximum, you can take a look at here for returns. The fund is going back as far as November 2014, and you can see the gains from there all the way into today. Obviously, this past year, like Kathy Wood says, innovation picks up in rough times, and we can see that cl very clearly here. Top 10 holdings are Tesla, Roku, Invite, CRISPR, Square, Slack, Teladoc, 
Proto Labs, Zillow, and Spotify. Let's take a look at all of the holdings, not just the top 10, but top 10 holdings are 52.88%. So there's another 47% roughly that we don't even see here. So go ahead, do your own due diligence, take a look at the rest of the companies and see if you believe in these companies for the next 10 years. If so, ARKK could be your go-to ETF to set it and forget it and contribute that $1,000 per month into this ETF to be go from broke to 1 million. And here is number three, ARKG, the Genomic Revolution ETF by ARK. And same management fee as the previous fund, 0.75% annually. We see the average annualized return in the past five years has been 33.31%, little lower than the previous two options. However, in my opinion, I believe the next 10 years have even more upside than the first two options because there is still so much that cannot be done through gene editing and research into health. Top 10 holdings are CRISPR, Arcaturus, Invitae, Pacific Bioscience, Twist Bioscience, Teladoc, Caridex, Iovance Biotherapeutics, Exact Sciences, and Selectus. Do your own research there. See if you believe in the companies. And if you don't wanna do your own research, then you could research into ARK Invest and see if you are willing to put your trust into them. Like we said, we will need to average 42% a year and contribute $1,000 per month if we are starting with $0 to get to 1 million. Now, this isn't taken into consideration the taxes you may have to pay, but if you're using a TFSA, then most of this could be tax sheltered if you're contributing 1,000 a month because you could contribute up to $6,000 per month in the TFSA. And then you could also be contributing to RRSPs. But that's a topic for another video. If you'd love to learn more about tax sheltering, then leave it in the comments below. But for now, we're gonna focus on this video here where you'll need 42% a year in returns, which is extreme for sure and is, is stretched but we can also only need about 36% if we start with $10,000, which most of us can do. Now I wanna show you the fun part. If you really focus on increasing your income while keeping expenses low, keeping expenses around $3,000 to $4,000 per month total if you live on your own and you're in your 20s, then you could be contributing $2,000, $3,000, or $4,000 per month. So let's take a look at what you could get if you are contributing 2,000 a month in 10 years, starting with 10,000 with 30% returns per year, which is more likely, obviously still high returns. We could finish with 1.3 million roughly in 10 years, contributing $2,000 per month. Well, what if we contribute 3,000 per month? Well, then it grows to 1.8 million and maybe you get up to 4,000 per month, which is $1,000 per week you're contributing, and you can get to 2.4 million within 10 years, starting with an account size of $10,000. Now, the reason why I'm going through these scenarios is to inspire you and motivate you to save more and increase your income more to accelerate your wealth building. Because if we can keep expenses low and we can increase income, you can see right here firsthand that your gains can be so much more crazy and you can achieve that financial freedom at a much, much younger age. Go ahead to the investment calculator, play around with scenarios that work best for you. Choose a stretch example, one that is a little bit out of your reach, and then choose an example that you know you can definitely commit to. Maybe that's $500 a month you can commit to and you wanna start with $5,000 and you wanna have the return set at 20% and you wanna see how long that takes you. Play around with the calculator for your specific scenario and then choose a stretch scenario, a bull case scenario, pie in the sky maybe to see just what's possible for you, even if you don't believe you can achieve it because you will surprise yourself, I assure you. Thanks so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you found some value. Subscribe for more stock market investing videos just like this one. I wanna help us all build our wealth together and share everything I do along the path because I always wish I saw what someone else did to build their wealth. So I'm just gonna be transparent to share everything throughout this journey, the ups and the downs. Don't expect it to be all roses. There's gonna be some downs and we need, we need the downs to experience the ups. So have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.